Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover the page report in Google Analytics 4 and how you can improve it. So here's the page report in Google Analytics 4. And there are a couple ways that you can arrive on this report. From the left navigation, if you click on reports and under lifecycle, engagement, pages and screen, this is where it'll take you. Or if you're on the home page of Google Analytics, from the top, if you scroll down a bit, there's a data table for views by page title and screen class. And you can click on this link, view pages and screens, so that it'll take you to the page report in Google Analytics 4. And once we arrive, you can see that there's a few charts at the top. We have this time series chart, which shows us the top pages, the top few pages. It looks like it's about five pages. Yeah, the top five pages. And also this bar chart that also shows us the top five pages as well. So these two charts are different versions of the same thing. And if your website traffic develops a pattern over time, then these charts might not be too useful. For example, as you can see, the top pages here are the home page in both of these charts. So if this is a developed pattern, then these charts won't be that useful. Now, if we scroll down, there's a data table here that shows us the page title or screen class, and then metrics including views, users, views per user, average engagement time, event count, conversions, and total revenue. I want to point out in G4, there are these event count and conversions columns. And for these columns, you can actually filter the rest of the data table by selecting specific events or conversions. So for example, for event count, you can select these any of these events listed for example if you want to create a landing page report you can choose the session start event and the table will update to show you the pages where users started their session from and in a similar fashion with conversions you can select whatever conversions you have configured for example purchase begin checkout, or any of these other conversions available. So let's set this back to all events. Now, if you want to search for a page or pages with a specific word or string, there's a search bar above the table here, and it's right below the charts. So you can type in the search bar. We can type lifestyle, press enter and the report will return all the pages with the word lifestyle in it. If you want to search for multiple words, for example, lifestyle and stationary, and have them appear in the same report, use the exploration reports instead. We'll get to that in a few moments. Now, if you want to make this GA4 page report similar to the Universal Analytics, you can do that if you have the proper admin privileges. And if you look in the upper right corner here, you'll see this writing utensil icon that allows us to customize report. And when you click on this icon, you'll be brought to a screen where you can customize the dimensions, metrics, as well as the data visualizations and data tables. So if we go down and look at our table here, you can see what kind of metrics we have. And let's click on this metrics under report data. And we can see all the metrics that we currently have in the table. Now let's add metric and we can type in bounce rate. If you want to add bounce rate, you can move it up to where it makes sense. 
we can still use the event count for entrances by using the session start event. So we can click on apply in the bottom right, save the changes. You can save it to the current report or save it as a new report. And if you save it as a new report, you'll name it and it'll appear in the left navigation. So confirm the changes and our page report will update with the bounce rate. So we scroll down and we can see our bounce rate here. Another option for the page report is the exploration report. With the exploration report, you can create a saved page report for specific pages so that when you come back to this out of the box pages and screens report, you don't have to search for the pages you're looking for every time. So in the left navigation, click on the explore option. You can create a blank one or choose the free form. And when this loads, rename the exploration report at the top left corner here. We'll remove the city dimension from the row section here and add any dimensions or metrics that you want. You can refer back to the out of the box pages and screens report to see what metrics might be useful, but you'll add those dimensions and metrics by clicking on the plus sign for each section. So for pages, type in page in the search bar at the top, scroll down and we'll check off the page path and screen class dimension so that it matches what's in the out of the box report. We'll click on import in the top right corner and we'll drag the newly added page path and screen class dimension over to the row section. Now we'll import our metrics to match our out of the box pages and screens report and then move them over to the value section so they appear in our report. So we'll click on the plus sign to do so and search for each metric. So make sure that any metrics that you want to add are checked off. So that'll include metrics like views, views per session, views per user. And once you have all your metrics, click on import in the top right corner. If you scroll down, drag those over to the value section. Now that we've added the metrics to our value section, remove the active users and remove the device category from the column section, beware that you may have to sort the report manually by clicking on the column that you want to sort by a few times because as it updates, the report may not sort the report properly. And that's just a bug that Google will have to work through. If you want to create a report for specific pages, there are a couple ways you can do so. One is by right clicking on one of the line items and selecting one of the options you have available. When you do that, you'll see that the report is filtered according to your selection. You can rename the tab to something appropriate. And if you want another report for another page, you can duplicate this tab and change the filter. So remove the filter and select another line item, another page. If you want to use a single tab to report on multiple pages, you can choose to edit the filter from the previous example or create a new filter. Either way, go down to the filter section, click on this and we'll select page path and screen class. And then for the match type, we're going to use matches regex. So this is regular expressions. And in the expression field, we're going to type period plus open parentheses. So period is any character represents any character and the plus sign represents one or more of the previous character. So one or more of any character. And then we'll type in for our example, lifestyle. 
bar stationary as the other option that we're looking for close parentheses the parentheses indicates a group in the expression and within this group we have the vertical bar which represents or an or statement so within this group we're looking for either lifestyle or stationary in the page path or screen class period again for any character and then asterisk which represents zero or more of the previous character then click on apply and your report will update to only show pages with either lifestyle or stationary in the URL or page path and you can rename this so you know that this is for lifestyle and stationary pages you have an out-of-the-box landing page report but you can also create another tab for specific landing pages by adding the landing page dimension and filtering for specific landing pages so when you want that report for those specific pages you can come back to this exploration report so if you found this useful please like comment subscribe and if you want more content on digital analytics including tracking reporting analysis we'll see you in the next episode